Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Yells Advanced Captain's Edition. Last episode we ended up at the Bulwark, I think. Rock C B. Got real turned off by artillery weapons and I probably won't be using them unless they give it to me and I just happen to have space for it. So now we start a new game on normal with a random ship, then Nassasio. I think we recently did one of these. Yeah, I think we did. Let's random again. Man of War. I think we did this one as well, to be honest, but I kind of like this ship now, so... Let's go. Mm, slug cooking, huh? Okay. Probably want to get that dual laser in there. I'm gonna move on. Uh, you can pierce our shields, but I think what? Ah, uh, but you also have auto repair ship. I think that means you just have a drone hull thing. Ah, uh, yeah, we did play with the ship pretty recently. Minus two power means we will draw some from our... Wow, really? You'd think weapon systems on the first few sectors wouldn't be that advanced, but it could be a ship type thing. We don't really need the light, seeing that he does not... Yeah, they have a... Uh, drone... Repair drones in there, so... I think we're just gonna end up keeping auto-firing on the weapons then, because there's not much else we can do, really. Well, we could take out piloting. But, by the chance I get to fire again, It'll probably be repaired, and thinking that either they have a really, 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 really large amount of repair drones in there, or something's the matter. I wonder if I can shoot those down, actually. They have around 50 health, so technically it would be possible if I used both of my weapons and everything hit, but... I'm not trying to run. We did end up taking damage. Ah well. Okay, 35 scrap. How much is it for another weapon upgrade? 35. Brilliant. So we can get both of our light lasers going at the same time. Which I think would be pretty much worth it, in my opinion. Of course, if you keep coming across ships like this, then not really, but let's see if this will work this time. Proves quite effective. Okay, so apparently it's also a weapon roll, a uh, dice roll on that one. Hmm. Well, in any case, this one's a sitting duck now, so we're just going to take out their piloting. And the engines, because why not? There we go. Okay. Now, some extra power would be nice so we could keep. Oh, my oxygen's offline. So we can keep the oxygen going then. And then two more so we can choose to get our augment on or our lasers. Because we're probably going to end up wanting to use both at some point. Sure. Targeting your advance. Okay, so that doesn't work. Now, and this is why I pretty much am certain that this will work. I've been told that the light lasers pierce the Zoltan shields. I'm kind of skeptical about the whole thing, but let's find out. Yep, they do. Alright, 
forget I said anything. Alright, send in the damage. I'll get on those engines, huh? I wonder what's so interesting about my engines. There we go. Now, I wonder if that's a human or an AI, because I can't really tell the way it's right now. It doesn't really matter, because it's dead. Uh, yeah. You know. For some, for an augment that probably costs a quite big amount, having it fail over and over isn't really a good selling point. It's a good thing that I started off it, but now that I know how this thing works, there's a pretty reasonable chance that I probably won't be picking this one up anytime soon. Missed, that's unfortunate. And some of those missed as well. Let's go fix our oxygen. There we go, he's done for it. There's probably a fire there. No. No fire, huh? I wonder what's up with that then. A good hit on his part. A bit strange though, because I thought it was just a flak one. I saw one shield bubble go down, saw one hull damage and two misses, so... Bit odd, but that's the way it is, I suppose. I suppose. Uh, yeah, we we'll probably want to get those shields up now. Still don't have any fuel to spare, but... Well, power. Well, I suppose we can work things out. How much do we need? Third, another forty. And for still being in sector one, things are going quite well. So, <clears throat> I'm not complaining too much. As far as the bio bomb goes, I don't think I'll be using it too often. Seems to be useless. All right. Go figure. Especially with a ship like that. Let's just get two bubbles of shield going. Well, good holes on that one. Probably not gonna evade any of those shots. If I had to make an educated guess. Yep, alright. Two people in one room means that's a great target right there. Okay, we took a weapon offline at least. But so did they. Right, now we're in a better position. Okay, he's probably never gonna... Oh wait, what? How many? Ah, oh, they got a repair drone up? That's not fair. Well, I think one more shot on the pilot would do it. Yep, I haven't missed a single shot on their end. Then again, I only have 10 evasion. Could be part of the issue. Okay, let's get this thing vented out. Let's get our oxygen back online. All right, we need three more scrap to get that bit of power back. Uh, looks like we actually need two. Yeah, we need two more, not one. 
Okay. Uh, again with the flax. Uh, can this thing finally work once? Yeah. Right, with none of their weapons being a real issue, we're probably gonna get bored it. Yeah. Alright. Um, see if he can guide you into our med bay. Let's depower our weapons uh, shields completely because we don't really need them. Mm, that's not gonna work because he's off to piloting. And we can just fight him then. But like we'll need piloting. Okay. Ah, now you're going for med bay. Okay, uh, we'll even open up the doors for you then. Because I'm a good guy. All right. Not gonna shoot them with a the dual laser, which also means then why the hell did I power it up? Um, because I don't want them to run. You're done. Okay, good. You're not gonna help out with the shields, huh? Yeah, I suppose I can't blame you. Got your ass kicked by a slug. Done and done. And then we just wait for our weapons to charge one more time and then we'll be good to go. Oh, he's off the shields now. Didn't even notice it. Because I was watching my own ship for some reason. Oh well. And now he's back to piloting. Make up your mind, Rockman. Make up your mind. There we go. Um, I'm using a slug ship, which means I should have no issues taking you as a slave. What the... F All right, not a, not appreciative of that. So is that another change or is that another thing that should happen? Oh well, at least we know now we probably won't be able to do piracy as well then. Which I'm not really amused by, but... We need three, oh no, we are missing some power. <coughs> Okay, am I ever going to use that bio-bomb? Uh, don't think I will. But is there anything I want to buy on this one? Long-range scanners would be good. Ch oh, charge laser. So the slug repair gel doesn't allow me to do what I want anymore. But I probably won't be using that bio-bomb anymore. What, can I do another jump and get back to the store? No. If I get rid of the bio bomb and the slug repair gel, I can get that laser going. Which would be good against later ships. Slug repair gel doesn't help me out with what I want to do, so... It fixing up breaches isn't bad on its own, but... If I'm no longer able to do piracy, then screw that shit. Slug crew will allow me to... Uh, slug enters the state like for one to two seconds and quickly snaps out. She states this person is clearly unstable, it's best to leave them alone. I wonder if that's a role as well. As in you get a 70% chance of him being normal and 30% not being normal. So, meaning that if you just accepted it, you still had 50-50 of it working out, yes or no. One, two, three, fail! Nope, it works. But the missile is still online, which means we'll have to 
pierce through that Zoltan shield as soon as we can. Well, we don't need shields anymore, so we'll pump it all into... Well, we can't pump it all into engines. Uh, we'll depower these. And we'll start firing at uh, that. Now. Power these up completely. To at least have a chance of dodging. Yep, so much for our dodge chance. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant. Alright, you can stop the auto fire now. We're gonna punch through those as quickly as we can. Uh, you both retreat to there. Oh, great hit on shields. That was what I was, I was waiting for. Alright, well, we don't need shields at the moment. Yeah. <coughs> right. You're not dead, huh? Well, might as well fire red one. Yeah, now he's dead. We can use all of our shots to target the NG without too much of an issue. And I think we fire everything, he will actually be dead. Yep, that's 90 from light lasers and another 15 from that one dual laser shot. Alright, fix the shields and then we'll look at our power situation. missing two because of uh, the augment still being active but hmm now that I think about it I might have just made a huge mistake selling that slug repair I thought slugs were able to do slavery but I thought now that I think about it more, it might be that the mantises are the one that could do that. And that the slugs were able to ignore truces. If that's the case, I'm an idiot, but. Oh well. Hope it won't matter too, too much. Okay, no weapons. Which means we can take our sweet ass time to deal with our good friend, the Borders. I'll try to get them into our med bay. They're probably going to take out our engines completely. Nope. Alright, that's good. That's at least one bit of hull damage save there. So, that's online. Um. <coughs> okay, so he's down to 10. And that's never going to change anymore. comes back online of course so then we fire at him Meaning, ah those that's that's not fair that my good sirs is not fair at all because those were part of an event well we'll try to stop them from getting more Double kill on that. Uh, 
There we go. <laughs> okay. Sure. Alright, well, that means we'll have two shields as well. But our weapons are jacked. Mm. Well, we'll see if they charge up quick enough. Killed a human. Hmm. Probably a uh, AI, because I don't think a human can die from that. That only does 15 a shot, so that's only 90. Which probably means that it was indeed a AI crew. Hey. Well, for now only the... can only send him out to do repairs and I really don't want to do that. So we'll wait until the end of this fight before we go fix our oxygen. Unless it starts dropping drastically. Which I don't think is the case right now. Okay. Hello Dale. Uh, there we go. Dale, Dale, go on shields. Actually, look just like that. <clears throat> if I ever get a teleporter, then I'll probably want to get the mantis in. And I'd rather have someone on weapons than on shields. Cool. Um, if I actually get one more of that, then I can have all my weapons online plus my augment. Shouldn't be too worried about going to Nebulas. And he doesn't have any weapons. The dick did decide to hack my weaponries with one. Not too much of an issue, really. We can use one of these to potentially create a hole in there. Nothing. I don't think it'll matter too much now, although he still has some decent amount of hull left. Still no hole. Still nothing. And dead. Okay. Sure, let's try it out. Cool. Now, if I'm not completely mistaken, those are AIs in there, along with Zoltans, of course. And they cannot evade, so I should be able to one-shot all of them. Which is awesome. Although it will take a while. And there's no real point in taking out two different crew members. 
Because once the repairs are done, they'll run to the Minbi anyway. But getting two for one is always a nice thing to do. Alright, we need to wait until you get out of that med bay. And then we shoot the shite out of you. Alright. Find a usable repair drone. Look at hell points repaired. Cool. Now. Nothing we would really want yet. Uh, but let's go here and then we can see if we go to the store, yes or no. Uh, looks as if the just best beacon is active, but you're, yeah, sure. Uh, prepping jammer, sure. Alrighty then. So I think this is the same thing again. And with our weapons being a less than ideal, maybe we can kill the crew again. Well, let's start piercing this thing then. It's gonna be a bit more difficult to pull this one off because we can only have one miss or we won't be able to take out the Zoltan. There we go. At least we can not take out the medbay if things become too annoying. All right, don't fix the breach yet. There we go. Dead. That's how you want to do that, huh? Medbay is still not out. That's unfortunate. Having level 2 medbay this early on sounds surprising to me, but hey, if that's the way... That's the way it is, then that's the way it is. Nothing I can really do about it. Alright, 9e. We could do... We could go... Could get in the system here. Weapon pre-igniter. Weapon jam or pre-igniter. Mm. Do we have another jump on our hands? No, it's now or never. Mm. And then unfortunately I think it's going to be never. Because I'm not going to get rid of the targeting jammer. Can get cloaking yet. Can get mind control, but what systems would I want on this? Teleporter, cloaking, and probably hacking, huh? Yep, and that's three slots available. Okay, goodbye. Then pre igniter. You come to a Zoltan trade and supply hub. Everything the wary traveler needs, provided they have the right documentation. You pose as traitor and succeed in bypassing airlock security. However, it's only a matter of time before someone realizes your ID cards are counterfeit. You enter the cantina for gossip, topics of conversation in the cantina range from crop distribution microbes to the joys of slug pleasure cruises. You overhear one group discussing a newly discovered plan to get to first contact and note down its location. And without too much doubt, we'll probably bump into the rebels. I think that's that type of event. Although I haven't seen this one before, so it might be something entirely different. Mm, sure, you do. Now, should so that means it's failed again. Huh? Provide proved ineffective here. Now that's a beam. That's an ion. That's a beam. We can fire through their stuff. Well, we might as well start the auto firing on you. Not that we'll probably need it, but whatever. One crew member down. So that leaves us with just what they have right now. And I don't think that's powerful enough to breach my shielding. Right, let's go see if I was right on this thing. 
They arrive at the primitive planet that you heard about at the cantina and are surprised to see a Zoltan ship facing off against the rebel assault craft. Duh. Nailed it. Okay. They tap into their frequency and hear the rebel captain yelling, We are liberating this planet in the name of the new galactic government. These aliens will not be left in ignorance where they cannot be of use. Protected the alien's way of life. Attack the rebel ship. Proof's quite effective. Okay, so you just have hacking. You know, I don't have to deal with your hacking bullshit. There. Now what are you going to do, huh? Okay. So how's the hack working out, guys? Have fun. This new slug cruiser. The bio beam wasn't bad, but uh, you couldn't really pick out one crew member you actually wanted dead. Well, you could, but you couldn't do really do much damage to him. Uh, what? What was the damage on that thing? Sixty. Mm, yeah, sixty, right? Because I know two shots were enough to kill a crew member. I don't think they went with fifty. So one of these does only 45, but you do get two of them. And they can pierce shields without an issue. Well, not all of them, but I think it's one shield they can pierce without a hassle. Uh, yeah, I got the mine launcher there. I should have read that, because that was probably the end of the quest, but... Eh. We'll save our scrap, we'll try to get cloaking in. Your jump leads to nothing but empty space. This jump beacon serves no purpose other than as a connection. Suddenly the computer reports a weak incoming teleport signal. The internal sensors show nothing out of the ordinary. Slug crew. Ah, oh, crud. You're still here? Okay. We can do this. We can do this. Where is he? So the second I kill him, his ship goes to run, right? Um, he doesn't even have weapons, so why the fudge I did that, I don't know. Um, so truth be told, I actually want to keep this one alive. So I can cripple his ship. And then I'll start taking him out, because I really don't want him to run. So we'll actually give you all the air you need, my good friend. Um, I can't deliberately sabotage my own doors. I can open them for you, though, so that's going to be good. I know what I'm doing seems stupid, but trust me on this one. I have an idea. Alright, so now you can die. I don't care anymore. Goodbye, bounty hunter. Let's get you uh, back on there as soon as we can. Then everything seems to be... Ooh, you have a clone bay. Didn't saw that one just yet. Um... Okay, good, 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 good. Um... Engines need to go offline. We're we'll not gonna wait for four shots because you probably don't need to. I think this might be one of the first times I'm not getting completely screwed over by this guy. Right now, we wait for our weapons to be completely full, though. Because that means we will be able to take him out. Yeah! You managed to disable the bounty hunter's ship. It's high-tech equipment will make good salvage. 
Suck on that bounty hunter. Although he was a bit more annoying on the beginning. <clears throat> 12 hull points. Did I actually need those? Mm. Yeah, I think so, because I don't think they um, show more repair points healed than you can actually heal. So that's 12 hull back and another power for the reactor. The Wolfgang systems, sure, let's head to it. Um, probably want to upgrade those weapons as well at some point. And our engines, because those are lacking a bit, but... We want to store, we're probably going to pick up cloaking. It's a good missile defense and it's one of my favorite things. Uh, cargo, teleporter, animal manufacturer, drone manufacturer... We can get another Mantis, but we won't. We'll sell the Herder. No, it's not called Herder, but... Kind of like the way it sounds. Herder. Clone Bay we don't really want. Okay, there's another store for us. Please have cloaking. Or weaponry. Mind control and hacking and weapons. Okay. Um, it, hmm. No, I think we're better off with the light lasers. Although I don't think we are actually. Uh, let me think this through. So plasma creates fires, or has a medium chance to create them. One power for three shots. No normal damage. No direct crew damage either. The light lasers, on the other hand, pierce shields, but only do light crew damage but can make breaches so now it comes down to do we want breaches or do we want fires fires beat breaches but I think I'm gonna stick with the light lasers actually yeah well, we could pick up hacking now should we pick up hacking yes And with the rest of our scrap, we'll upgrade our engines one. Oh yeah. So now I have three power left. Where? Oh uh, yeah, I got another reactor upgrade from the 15 missiles I dumped. Yes, I will gladly trade. Nine fuel for two drone parts seems like a solid deal to me. And we'll give it back, meaning we will get 35 scrap. So we sell two drone parts for 35 scrap and five fuel. Good deal in my books. Uh, what else did we want to do? Oh yeah, we have one spare power which we can pump into any chance. Giving us a 30% 2% dodge chance. Please take out the swarm. Ah, oh, yeah. Suck it. Now, can you pierce two shields? It says shield piercing two, so I'm assuming that's a yes. Uh, probably, if we want to do this one effectively, we probably have to. We have to take out the clone bay first. There's a number of ways we could do that. But I'm gonna start out with doing this. And I need to keep a good eye on who I hit how many times. Right, so I th think the next shot will 
start to kill people off. Now I need to give you a barrage first. Like so, and then we can depower these, go with that. Take out the clone bay. Hopefully. Okay. And then we need to be quick enough to kill all of them. Which probably is not gonna happen. Uh, maybe we do. He only needs one, but he did get in there a bit faster than his co-worker did. We'll try it. Ah, yeah. There we go. Didn't think it would work out that smoothly, but it did. It did. Right. Um, there's no real point in going that, but we can do this one because it doesn't really matter if we're ending up in a nebula or not. Just try to avoid plasma storms and for the rest it doesn't really matter too much. Now, again with the clone base, huh? attack the ship. And we're going to get hacked on hacking, which means we won't be using our hacking. Um, but other than that, we're basically going to have to apply the same strategy with the added benefit of not being shot at ourselves. So, here we go. Uh, he got hit five times, bringing his health down to 75, so that's good. We'll then do the same to you. He's down at 10. So is he. So we depower these. Get ourselves ready to take down the clone bay, like so, and then depower this one. And get those two working again. It's a bit of uh, an elaborate way of doing things, but hey, whatever works, right? Mm, goodbye. Rebel Disruptor. and industrial machinery which we'll probably dump at the first store we come across I mean industrial machinery will probably sell for a decent amount in a you jump into a sector of a build up by a plasma storm didn't really think it would work um, yeah that'll do it I think that thing still only has one shot in it in him. If not, we can always depower our engines in our auction as well. But we don't have to. Cool. Easy encounter. I like it. Um, I'm looking, trying to improve your reactor. No. I don't mind deals like that, but um, it's got to be worth it. And in this case, I don't think it was three drone parts. Well, two, but we only have three. No shields again, huh? but you do have mind control. That means we'll probably have to fight our mantis or our human. Mm, that's 
a mantis, so I'll send a human in to help out. You know, just talk it out. I'm sure we'll come to an agreement. There we go. Hey, that wasn't called for a human. He's your buddy. Well, I think he's your buddy. Sharing a med bay and all of that. Knew that charge laser was a good buy. Well, for now it is. Right, you don't have a room yet. That's odd. You'll be our weapons personnel. Thought we would have been clear on that by now. <coughs> okay. Pulsar. They don't have weapons, which is shitty. Uh, if they don't have weapons, I'm not gonna spend two power on it. Um, I think you do hull damage. And it's pretty stupid to try and find out if I'm right on that, but... Kinda have to, right? Uh, no, you do not do hull damage. Which means I don't really care what happens. Um, you'll probably shoot down my hacking, huh? Yeah. Okay. Uh, ah, I shouldn't have fired there. Damn it. Okay. Take it out. Um, we'll go back to the light lasers. And that fire there will help us out a great deal in order to take down that one idiot that thinks he can take out the fire. Please don't have a good medbay, please don't have a good medbay. Nope. Suck on that. Well, seeing that you're not having any jobs right now, why don't you go repair our hacking in the meantime? Now, you could pierce two shields, right? Yeah, you could. And he killed himself by walking through the fire. Wondrous, wondrous, wondrous. You're almost done. There you go. Okay. What's that other thing that's oh, our engine? So we oh we can leave. I wonder if it's in possible to... No, I've just did three damage. I'm, I'm, I'm talking gibberish again. Socialize with the mantis. Hmm. Uh, yeah, we can do this one. Sure, might as well. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> uh, yeah, sure. Useless. Okay. Now well, he can hit me if he wants to, you know, if he really, really wants to. Um, we can hit him as well, though. That should guarantee our safety for now. We're probably gonna try and take care of those shields right now. Just so we can speed this up a bit. Wow. You saw it here first. Four shots, three missed. And then you get kind of the opposite. Oh man, that's what you get with random numbers. Weird stuff. Okay, done and done. 
Hull Smasher Laser Mark III. If that's an artillery type thing, it's being thrown out. Three power for three shots. Fifteen seconds. Mm, it could get rid of this one for it. We got the scrap. Uh, it's an extra shot. Um, yeah. So I got enough for that. Cloaking. So that's alright. And now we got an extra shot. Uh, da -da 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 -dum 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 -dum. They don't have any way of healing, so... Suck it! Uh, probably gonna need all of my shielding, though. Now, two shields means... I am gonna wait to see if this one pierces my shields, though, and I think it will. Nope. We're good. Right, might as well let this thing auto fire, even if it's just to level this guy up. He's not causing all damage, so that means he'll also not make the enemy try and get their arses out of here. Kinda like it when they're out of sync a little bit. It's good to be powerful and you actually more powerful than you actually need to be. Double kill. Wow, all three missed. Huh. No. Ah, you are fully leveled up already. Okay. E sure. Alright, Sector 4. Let's jump into a nebula again. Uh, sure. One fuel for one extra jump is probably worth it. The only thing that can render a nebula more dangerous is if it's also home to the slugs. This particular nebula is just that. Well, that's a good thing that I'm also using a mm, slug cruiser. The mass crew member speaks openly, but you forget your universal translator on the bridge. You can hear a wide variation of soft clicking. You should really strap that to the front of your head or something. Anyway, we're at 35 minutes, which means we've taken a long-ass time getting here. But this is where I'm going to cut the episode for now. So, thank you guys for watching. I hope you are still enjoying this series. Feel free to show support by commenting, liking, and or subbing. I still enjoy it a great deal. I hope to keep series like this going. And I'll see you guys on the next episode. Bye, everyone.